This incredible story began about 30 years ago. Jemima Goldsmith, the daughter of a prominent British aristocratic family, fell in love with a world-famous Pakistani cricket player who, at that time, had a reputation as a Muslim playboy. Despite their considerable differences in age, culture, and background, they got married. Jemima even embraced Islam, converting for the sake of their love. But how did her life change after the marriage? Why did they eventually have to part ways? And what do their children look like today? Stay tuned to find out. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Let's dive into this intriguing story. Jemima Marcel Goldsmith was born on January 30, 1974 in London into a family of immense wealth and noble lineage. She is the eldest daughter of Lady Annabel Vane Tempest Stewart and financier Sir James Goldsmith. Her mother comes from an Anglo-Irish aristocratic background and is the daughter of the 8th Marquess of Londonderry, while her father was a billionaire financier, also the son of a luxury hotel magnate. Interestingly, Chivama's parents were involved with other partners when she was born, but they decided to marry in 1978 to legitimize their children. Her father, Sir James Goldsmith, was a fascinating figure, an influential financier who famously ran for the European Parliament in the 1990s as a political maverick, challenging the British political status quo with his strong Eurosceptic views. Growing up, Jemima was surrounded by immense luxury, spending her childhood at the Grand Ormley Lodge, a stunning 18th-century Georgian mansion. She attended the Old Vicarage Preparatory School and later Francis Holland School, one of London's most prestigious private schools for girls. Despite excelling as an equestrian in her youth and even showing potential to pursue show jumping professionally, Jemima chose academics instead. By the age of 17, she was already a well-known equestrian in London, but her intellectual curiosity drove her to pursue higher education. In 1995, Jemima enrolled at Bristol University to study English literature. However, her academic life took an unexpected turn when she met Imran Khan. Their fateful encounter took place at a charity dinner, where they shared an engaging conversation that sparked a deep connection. Imran's dedication to social causes and his magnetic personality intrigued Jemima, while Imran was drawn to her intelligence, beauty, and empathy. At the time, Jemima was 21 and Imran was 42. Despite their age gap, their chemistry was undeniable. Imran Khan was born in 1952 in Lahore, Pakistan, into a privileged upper-middle-class family. He grew up with his sisters and received an elite education, attending Aitchison College in Pakistan before moving to Royal Grammar School Worcester in England. He later studied at Oxford University, where he majored in philosophy, politics, and economics while continuing to build his cricketing career. Imran's rise to fame as a cricketer began in 1971 when he made his debut for the Pakistani national team. Over the following two decades, he became one of the greatest all-rounders in the world, revered for his leadership as the captain of Pakistan's cricket team. In 1992, he led Pakistan to its first-ever Cricket World Cup victory, cementing his status as a national hero. However, alongside his athletic achievements, Imran was widely known for his playboy lifestyle. Until the age of 42, he had never been married and had a reputation for dating some of the world's most beautiful women, including Bollywood and even Hollywood stars like Goldie Hawn. Though Imran once admitted, the playboy image about me is a bit of an exaggeration. But I'm no saint. His love life was frequently in the headlines. However, it wasn't all fleeting romances. One serious relationship that cast a long shadow over Imran's reputation was with Sita White, the daughter of British businessman Gordon White. Imran and Sita dated for several years in the late 1980s and early 1990s. When Sita became pregnant, Imran denied paternity. It wasn't until 1997, after a lengthy court battle, that Sita proved he was the father of her daughter, Tyrion Jade White. Imran's refusal to acknowledge his daughter drew significant media attention and was one of the scandals that followed him into his political career. 
In contrast, Imran's relationship with Jemima felt different. Their bond was so strong that he proposed to her on just their second date. Despite objections from both families, Jemima's father was initially opposed to her conversion to Islam and her decision to marry a much older man, while Imran's family hoped he would marry within his own community. The couple persevered. They were married on May 16, 1995, in a nikah ceremony at Jemuna's father's home in Paris, officiated by an imam. This was followed by a civil ceremony in London and a lavish ball at Ormley Lodge, attended by prominent figures, including Princess Diana. After the wedding, Jemima converted to Islam, adopting the name Jemima Khan, and moved to Pakistan to live with Imran in Lahore. She learned to speak Urdu, dressed in traditional Pakistani attire, and made a genuine effort to adjust to her new life. Despite her best efforts, though, the cultural differences were profound. While Imran came from a deeply conservative Muslim family, Jamima had grown up in modern, aristocratic Britain. These differences eventually took their toll. In 1996, a year after their wedding, the couple welcomed their first son, Suleim and Isa, followed by their second son, Kasim, in 1999. Around the same time, Imran made the transition from sports to politics, founding his political party, Pakistan Tariq e Insaf, PTI. Jemima was initially very supportive of Imran's political ambitions, even delivering speeches in Urdu to rally voters. But as Imran's political career progressed, Jemla began to feel increasingly isolated in the conservative environment. Their marriage became even more strained due to the controversy surrounding Imran's personal life. In 2015, Imran's second wife, Reham Khan, made explosive statements about his behavior. She accused him of infidelity and even having affairs with a married man during their marriage. Reham's book also claimed that Imran had five children out of wedlock, including one in India, Despite these allegations, Imran's supporters have dismissed them, believing that Reham is seeking revenge after their breakup. Jamila also faced her share of struggles in Pakistan. Her Jewish heritage became a target for political opponents, who accused her of being part of a Zionist conspiracy. Some even called for her Pakistani citizenship to be revoked. She was falsely charged with smuggling antiquities, adding further pressure to her already difficult situation. After nine years of marriage, Jamima and Imran divorced in 2004. The split was amicable, but both described it as one of the most challenging periods of their lives. Imran Khan has long remembered this period of his life with Lani, regretting that he cannot live with his sons and sees them only once in two months. Jamima Goldsmith, too, has no hard words for her ex-husband. After learning of his party's victory in the parliamentary elections, she praised his tenacity, faith, and unwillingness to accept defeat. After the divorce, Jemima returned to London with their sons. Despite the separation, the couple remained on good terms. Jemima continues to share photos of her children with Imran on social media, and she has publicly supported his political career. In 2018, when Imran became the Prime Minister of Pakistan, Jamima expressed pride in his achievement, remembering how much he had dreamed of this moment during their marriage. Today, Jamima has built a successful career of her own. She is a journalist, contributing to renowned publications like The New Statesman, Vanity Fair, and The Sunday Times. She has also become involved in humanitarian work, serving as a UNICEF ambassador, and has entered the world of film production. In 2022, she wrote and produced the film What's Love Got to Do With It, a romantic comedy inspired by her own life experiences in Pakistan. The film won Best Comedy at the 2022 Rome Film Festival. As for their sons, Suleiman and Kasim have grown up. Suleiman, now 27, lives a private life, while Kasim, 24, launched his own marketing agency in 2023. Despite their parents' divorce, the family remains close-knit. This story reminds us that while love may not always last in its original form, the bonds we forge can remain strong, even if two people take different paths. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. 
Hit that bell icon to make sure you're notified whenever I upload new videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.